welcome back guys. Jamie's camper. I'm Jamie. Oh, I'm absolutely gutted. I just spent the last five hours uh, putting this trim up here on the window. Uh, this here we can see. I'll give you a close up in a minute. Uh, basically five hours it took me because I was videoing and showing you how to stick it on and all sorts. I mean I had, had like ten small videos that I'd cut into one video somehow managed to delete it all absolutely gutted um <laughs> but it wasn't a waste because i've got some more done some more to show you but it would have been better if i showed i was trying to show you step by step how it could be done what you what you can do blah de, blah um I'm, I'm so annoyed with myself but anyway it's one of those things uh a lesson learned on what you can and can't do with an iphone and iMovie so <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> I'll give you a quick look around. Basically, all I did today was uh, measure a piece of wood for this bit here, the window frame, we can call it. Um, cut out an aperture, glued on the fabric and fixed it into place and then put some corner beading in the corner just, just to tidy things up. Uh, I'm really annoyed because I, I was such a detailed video, but... It's just one of those things. I'm I'm just gonna have to swat up and uh, work work out how to do things better. Let me give you a, a quick look at this thing here. See if I can turn this camera around quickly. I don't think I can. That's odd. Right, doesn't matter about that. We'll just have a look this way. Okay, so <coughs> that is the lighting's a bit strange. There we are. That's a bit better. Hang on. That's better. So, you can see where I've um, fixed that bit in there. And if we go over to this corner here, you can see the nice bit of trim I've put in there all the way along. I've just, I've actually glued that in. Um, like I say, I, I was showing you how to do it and then that went all wrong. Um, I'm just checking the glue now. Actually, I think that's probably dry. So basically that's what I've done today. A uh, lovely day outside for a change because yesterday was absolutely miserable. Um, yeah, so I'm really pleased with it. Like, it doesn't look too bad. It, let, me, let me open the door and step out here and we'll get a, a bigger view of it. Okay, well, it's very bright for some reason. That's weird. Um, just two seconds. Let me see if I can change this camera around. I must have been messing with the... Uh... Yeah, that's better. Yeah, darken it down a bit. So that's it there. That's what I've accomplished today, which I'm pleased with. Apart from the <sighs> half an hour of video that I completely ruined. But anyway, that's it. So that's the, basically the corner bit done now. Try and move along a little bit quicker. Now the better weather's coming in. Yeah, I'm really pleased with it. I'll open up the curtains and... Basically, you can see there, let's try and get these nice and straight, make it look a bit more professional, there we go. So basically you can see there, you know, nice straight frame. Um, it does sink down towards, where is my finger, to that corner, I must have hacked off a little bit too much. But I'm not really fussed about it, I mean it, it looks good enough for me. Um, frames the window nicely. Um, the curtains kind of slide back into the recess really well, which I'm I'm pleased about. I mean, you can have them further back if you like, but that's probably about far enough. Both sides, and then they close up real nice as well. There we go. Take it into the middle. I'm judging this as middle by these bits I've done there, but that's it. I mean, ah, it was. I'm so annoyed, guys, because. I had such good video to show you and obviously that's you know neither here nor there now but so that was my Sunday I think it's looking quite tidy it's getting there slowly a uh, lot more to do hopefully next weekend I'll get a bit of time as well um, like I say working full time isn't easy I worked half a day yesterday 
and it was an absolutely miserable day. Lashed with rain, so we only actually got half the job done. Um, and then I was home, and basically, hang on a minute, why has it gone dark again? That's better. Basically, yesterday was just a washout, so today's been a better day. Um, yeah, I hope you like it. I'm so annoyed I couldn't show you the, the build of it because it was a good build. It was a, a good detailed vid. But it's it's ended up tidy. Um, I had to go in. There's a bit of a wrinkle there, actually. I'm just noticing on the camera here. That's all glued down, so that... It may... Being PVC, it may contract... Um, expand and contract with the heat of the van. I don't, I'm not too sure. Um, I don't know why that's like that. I'm sure it'll work itself out though. I have noticed that because I'm doing this in colder temperatures, I think it may sag slightly in the glue. Hopefully when the van gets super warm, it's not gonna like just peel off. It shouldn't, because it's all stuck really well, but. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with it. It's, it's taking shapes, looking good. Nice little curves here. Um, yeah. So that's that guys, sorry I couldn't give you the full detailed version, totally wiped out off my iPad on my phone, I have no idea what I did, um, been using iMovie to try and like put snippets together and things, didn't have enough space, had to go and delete videos, when I went back to iMovie, the videos I had, that I had switched to iMovie and then deleted were just completely gone. So I'm absolutely furious with myself, but learning curve, um, you know, I haven't done vids before online, so one of those things, but I got a bit done to the van as we can see, so that's another bit of a bonus. Um, I just wanted to show you as well, this seat here, if anyone wants to know, that's actually a sprinter seat, the sprinter front seat from a 05 sprinter. Now I've taken the headrests off so I can get into my switch panel. But uh, that, I got that for 50 quid on Gumtree. Obviously had to go and collect it. Now the beauty of this thing, um, it's when it's bolted down in the front seat of a Sprinter, there's obviously two kind of like holes underneath, you know, one there and one over there. Um, what I've done, I've removed the nuts so you can actually, it's, I can't lift it at the minute because there's stuff on it, but it's, you can actually pull it forward. It's on a hinge some kind of hinge. It's not bolted down as yet, that's uh, that's going to be another job to do is get that bolted down right through the chassis. It doesn't have seat belts, taking them off, I don't want anyone riding back here. We've got three seats in the front, that's as many people as I'll need to ever take in this van. Um, but that's going to be bolted down obviously just because it's it's a fair lump of steel frame as well as a seat. A good seat actually, really pleased with it for 50 notes. Um, once the frame's bolted down, this is going to be able to go back and forward, so you, more storage and, and things like that. That'll be another video, how to position it, how to drill the holes, how to find out where it's going to go. It may move slightly that way um, in the future. I've, I just have it kind of sitting there for now. Okay, so I'll say goodbye, and hope you like the window that I did today. Sorry I couldn't uh, get the whole videos in, like I say amateur at best to delete them all by accident um but there'll be more to come okay guys thanks for watching bye